What's up, guys? Welcome to America Patriot News. And today we got some great news out of Ohio. The Secretary of State has ordered the removal of all non citizens off the voter rolls. All right. It's about time somebody cleaned up the voter rolls in every state, but I'll take Ohio if that's all we can get right now. Let's take a look. Ohio Secretary of State orders removal of non-citizens from state voter rolls. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaCrose ordered the removal of non-citizens from the state's voter rolls after more than 100 were found registered, despite confirming their lack of U.S. citizenship. On Tuesday, LaRose directed 88 counties, all 88 counties, to begin a removal process for non-citizens on Ohio's voter rolls following a review by his office's Public Integrity Division and Office of Data Analytics and Archives. The review analyzed data from the Ohio Bureau of Motor Vehicles and found 137 voter registrations of non-citizens who had twice confirmed their lack of U.S. citizenship. State law requires non-citizens to confirm to the BBMB twice that they are not U.S. citizens. The Secretary of State's office will send two notices to the Ohio residents to either cancel their voter registration or confirm their U.S. citizenship. If they do not respond to the notices, they'll be removed from the state's voter rolls. It's important to recognize that some of these registrations may be the result of an honest mistake, Loro said in a statement. These may be well-meaning people trying to pursue the American dream, and communication barriers sometimes result in a registration form being submitted in error. We need to help them get that cleared up before an accidental registration becomes an illegal vote that could possibly, you know, could result in a felony conviction or even de deportation. LaRose's office also asked the Biden administration to provide citizenship data from the Citizenship and Immigration Services, the SAVED database, federal district court records, and databases from the Department of Homeland Security and Social Security Administration. Good luck getting that from the Biden administration. Yeah, that's never going to. It'll be a cold D and L before they give you any of that. But at least Ohio is going to clean up their voter rolls. Uh, we talked about um, Michigan. We did some videos a couple months ago, and I mean, I couldn't even believe the tens of thousands of people born in, you know, two centuries ago that are still voting in Michigan. Yeah, Ohio don't have the uh, dead people problem. They have the problem of people being illegal and uh, yeah. and registering to vote. And I'm amazed it's only 137. I think uh, that's what they have found. The, uh, right now, those counties are looking. They're going to find more. They're going to find a lot more, I have a feeling. And yeah. hopefully they'll actually get a, uh, a register uh, from the federal government when it comes to illegals. But we'll, we'll wait and see how well th their documentation is when it comes to illegals in the United States. I have a feeling it's lacking. Yeah, I mean, obviously, 137 isn't a very big number. I highly doubt that's the number of illegal registrations in Ohio. They're going to have to do some more digging. But it's nice to see this Secretary of State is on the offensive and making sure that non-citizens don't vote in our elections. Yeah, I agree. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you would, turn the notifications bell on. We're live Monday morning at 930. Have a wonderful rest of your day.